Hey guys, Cameron here with Brain Tickle. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about what I've done so far with my compiler and how I've done a little bit of work on the parser. So just to give a little review about what I'm trying to accomplish with this compiler project, I'm trying to write a compiler written in C. I have a lot, I have experience with C. I don't have a, like a ton of experience with doing like the memory management and like a huge project kind of like this where I need to make sure that I'm freeing all my memory and stuff. And so I'm trying to learn C and get that, get that very well. I'm trying to also output LVM using the library, the C library for LVM. I really want to do that. So it's like programmatic and it's super easy to like add new features to the compiler. And it, I don't write the LLVM code manually. I think that it's going to be really cool once I do it with the library. And I really just want to make a language that I could actually code in. You know, I I would want to I I wouldn't want to make something that I couldn't do, use myself. And finally, this is this is must a must need. It has to have a better syntax than Golang. I absolutely hate the syntax of Golang. It's it's just abhorrent. Don't even get me started. It's it's just terrible. So I'm gonna show off the syntax that I have right now. I showed this off in the first video, but I'm just gonna show it off again because um, we're kind of getting to a real feature now, whereas the last one was last video was just talking about testing. Um, yeah, this is the syntax. It's you got you can see the to how we're typing stuff. Um, how different functions could be made. And this is just an idea. This is not fully implemented. So what I have implemented so far, I've implemented the Lexer, I've implemented the testing, and I've now implemented kind of a little bit of the parser. So I wanted to show this off. Um, I want to show off the parser now. So I that's why I had like a bunch of progress with it. So. I figured I might as well show it off. So now I kind of want to show you guys the flow of the compiler because since we're talking about the parser, it's the next step. So we first start with this source code, like this statement of return six times five, and then we turn that into the tokenized code. And this is the lexer. This is the lexical analysis of our code. And so it turns everything into like these tokens and turns like the return keyword into a token it turns the six into a token of number token number and all the rest of them and so after that we then have the parse tokens in these this is when you turn the tokens like you go through the tokens and you create these expressions where you have the return statement it's the entire line and then it from the return statement, you're returning this binary expression of 6 times 5. And 6 is an int, and 5 is an int. And we have the times. We have the star in the middle. So that's kind of what I'm trying to produce from the parser. So the parser that I'm using is called the Pratt parser. And what this does is it uses precedence to kind of um, understand these statements and order them. Because as you saw, they have to be ordered in such a way where they're inside of they're inside of each other and they're like this tree structure. And so a statement like A times B plus C needs to be ordered like this, where we have to first compute A times B and then add C. It's like PEMDAS. And so it just kind of makes sense it's uh it uses recursion um yeah so now i think i'm going to show you guys my parser so this is my parser class i have about let's see 220 lines of code in here um and i've added since the last video i've probably at, i've added so much into this it's it took a long time to get this actually working so i've got i've got the this, I've got this, 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 and this. So all of these files, it's it's a lot of code that's been added. And the parsing tests, it's it's really just been a lot. I think first I'm gonna kind of show you guys it working. So um 
I'm going to pull up the terminal. So I'm going to do uh, make test. Uh, well, I can, I'll, I'll just do make. Okay. And then we have the compiler in here. So I'm going to test it against this. And so this should return a thousand. So I'm going to pull this up. And we're going to do dot slash bin slash my compiler and simple dot fi. Okay. And so right here, I was able to generate some LLVM IR and it returned a thousand. It directly returned a thousand. I can tell you guys it parsed it. I'm not hard coding this. Um, uh, LLVM just does some constant folding. So some of the stuff that I've done, it has like some optimizations pre-built in that you can't turn off, which I guess is a, I guess is a good thing. Um, but yeah, so this is what kind of got me excited. I posted about this on Twitter. This is, um, really cool and really nice to see finally something working with this. So yeah, this is what made me want to make the video. But yeah, I'm going to show you guys this. So here is the abstract syntax tree. So this is where we have all of the classes, or I guess structs, of all the things that we're going to parse these tokens into. So like taking this binary expression, like 5 plus 5, we have the binary expression of the int literal expression of 5, the plus, and the int literal expression of the other five. So this is how we're supposed to uh, kind of create this thing to mock this. This is the binary expression. Same for the un unary expression with like negating something or like um, like doing a not uh, like an exclamation mark. And yeah, so we have like a couple of those. Some of these stuff aren't fully used yet because this parser is only halfway complete like i haven't done variable decoration the parser can pretty much only do like uh these like we these single statement um arithmetic things so yep we have those and um we have all of these stuff and there's some functions here so that's the that's the header file for that here in the C file, I've kind of, um, I've got all of the implementations for like when you make the binary expression, when you have the left, you just like kind of formulate it. And so we have all of these right here. And then I have the expression to string and I really just had, I'm not going to lie. I had copilot generate this, I guess it was using Claude Sinet four. So yeah, I had it generate this and this cause I just need something really quick. I think it looks all right. Um, it looks fine to me and it works. So it's not too bad, but over here I got the free program. So given a program, which is something containing a list of statements, I'm going to pull that up for a second. It's got a list of statements and the statement counts, but yep, just going through there and it, you probably saw how like we're malloc um, right here for all these expressions. So, basically just going through and freeing all of those and doing all of that for this, for everything that we've malloced. So it works pretty well. That's the AS, the abstract syntax tree. Um, I guess I'll get to the code gen later. Um, one of the other things I did, as I'll mention it briefly, is I kept getting recommended by Copilot to keep checking my mallocs for null. And I realized, I looked it up and kind of researched into this and apparently doing something like this where you have your own malloc function and you check for if it's null in here is pretty common practice in C. So I didn't know that. So I actually made this um, and yeah, works pretty well. And yeah, I pretty much just put it all over my program because then the S stands for safe, safe malloc. So that's that. Then we have the parser. Uh, the parser contains a lexer, so we can access some of that stuff. We've got the current token um, and the next token. And 
I don't know why I have this comic here. That's pretty obvious. Uh, the next token index. I didn't have the current token index because I, I know that the current token index is next token index minus one. I felt like it was redundant. And it's kind of like the theme of this compiler is I'm trying not to have redundancy within it. So, yeah. Then we have precedence. This is kind of the big part of the compiler where I have... Um, we go... Uh, this is the highest precedence and this is the lowest. So kind of just going down and I have a function in the parser for the, for get precedence. So, yep, there's that. And in here, here's kind of the meat of this and I'm not going to be able to explain it all. I hope that if you were able to read this, you would be able to understand it though. But basically you basically init it and it just initializes it with the lexer the first token type and the second token type and sets it to the second uh index uh, which is one because zero indexed and then we begin to parse and so it just starts off and goes through the tokens and these are kind of the basic token types if it's a function a type return or an expression and so I only have return and expression done because once again, this is not fully implemented. So yeah. And then afterwards it adds the statement because once again, the program's a list of statements and just like any program. So yep. Consume functions. Some of these are just helper functions. Yeah. All of these helper functions that I've used throughout it. Um, the code will be linked down below and at my GitHub, but yeah, this is kind of the meat right here of this parse expression statement. So, yeah, we parse expression, and I guess this is more of the meat of it, is, yeah. So, we have, we parse the left part of it, because we're going to assume that it's a binary expression. So, we parse the left, which is parse prefix, and so if it's a number, we return int literal. And this is calling that thing from ASTC ast.c um, right here and same thing with toke minus this is a unary expression just so I was talking like that negation and here like doing the not on it with the exclamation mark and this is the left parenthesis where we have like this um, we have like this this expression that's uh, by itself. And so we want to treat it like it's by itself and make sure it's contained. So that's that. Um, the pi, the, so after we parse the pre prefix, so if this is like five, then we have the int literal. And then we make sure that the next token is not s the semicolon and that the precedence is less than the precedence of the next token. So then we go to parse infix and here we see if the next token and we're making, we're doing the next token uh, because we need to make sure that the next token is an operator, which is why we switch off of the next token. So we want to make, we don't do current token because we don't want to go to the current token and it not be an operator. So, that's why we make sure first, because I think that there's other infix expressions that I have to do. I just haven't got to that or haven't thought it out yet because I'm just trying to get do this. But yeah, there's all these. And these are, we get the next token data and we move past the operator token completely. So then the current token is like what's in the right of the binary expression. And so this is just doing that. Getting the current precedence parsing the expression and then putting it in. So we have the five plus five. Here's the helper function for getting the precedence. And that's kind of about it for the parser. I kind of went a little bit fast. Um, I guess we're at 10 minutes for this part of the video, but yeah, it's, it, this took a long time. I mean, this was a lot of like head banging and just trying to get it right. It's trying to get it in the way that I wanted it, where it's not like super hard to understand. Um, some of this cogen stuff that we have here is 
a lot of help by AI. You know, I don't have a ton of experience with the LVMC library. So, like, it was very helpful in kind of understanding all of these little things, the the names of these functions that I need to use. And so I can very much understand it now so I could write it myself. But, you know, at the beginning, it really helped me out for that. So that's that's really a good use case. Um, yeah, I'm not really going to explain this one too much because it's, once again, not finished. It's really just the parser. But, um, yeah, this is pretty much just a mock-up just so I could get it running. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, we have a bunch of test cases. So, like, we can test for stuff like this and stuff like this. And like stuff like this. So if I open the terminal again, if I go to terminal, if I do make test parser, all the test cases pass. Um, so all the ones that I just showed you, like this, this, and this, they all pass. Um, even, and this is kind of what, like, if I pull up complex pendas right here. So this is what this turns into. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, any comments, any suggestions on what I should change about what I've done so far or anything, feel free to leave them in the comments and don't forget to like, and subscribe. Uh, this channel is run by full-time students, so we really appreciate your support and yeah. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.